Some homeowners in North Georgia say an invasive weed is spreading fast around a popular lake, and they're concerned it could also threaten the area's economy. Here's 11 Alive's Brittany Klein-Peter. Lake Chattoog's marinas make it one of the most popular lakes in Georgia for swimming, boating, and water sports. But homeowners say an invasive weed is threatening it all. It used to be so beautiful. You walk in and you look out and you see the beautiful lake. You see the uh, you, you see the mountains in the background, and so and now, frankly, when I go up there, all I see is that parrot's feather. The weed parrot's feather, which gets its name from the plant's feathery-looking leaves, is considered to be one of the most invasive plants in the world. It can grow into thick walls, blocking the movement of aquatic life, boats, and swimmers. And it's visible everywhere along the southern portion of Lake Chattoog. This stuff grows fast and it travels and spreads fast. It's like kudzu for water. Homeowner and Ron right Farmer now. says he's worried about how it could impact property values, as well as the local economy, since the area depends on the lake. If tourism suffers because of this parrot's feather invasive species, then, you know, how many people lose their jobs? The Tennessee Valley Authority manages the 7,000 plus acre lake, which spans across both Georgia and Tennessee. A spokesperson says they are aware of the plant's presence and are gathering data to see if it's possible to treat. But homeowners like Ron say the longer they wait, the more that's at stake. It travels by boat. That same fisherman might decide to go to Lake Lanier, and then it's going to be in Lake Lanier and all the other lakes. TVA officials did not give a timeline for when the data gathering will be complete, adding that historically they only treat public use areas on an as-needed basis. Brittany Klein-Peter, 11 Alive News.